Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 14 of season 1 of Gravity Falls. And my eye is still messed up. So, where do we go this time, I wonder? It's always a mystery with this show. <laughs> it's always fun though. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get to it. Last time around was fun though. Uh, it was about Mabel taking over the mystery shack while Stan went on a vacation because Mabel was so tired of Stan being a jerk to everyone, you know? But <laughs> she was certain that a more friendly manner would get better results. But she went too far. Like, they both... Extremes are never good, I don't think. In general, in everything, you need a bit of a balance, you know? <laughs> you need to have some discipline. You can't just let people do whatever the heck they want, but if you keep riding them like crazy, then people are going to get tired of that and go do something else instead. It was really funny when Mabel turned into Stan at the end, basically. <laughs> yeah, that was very enjoyable. So let's see what kind of crazy antics we get up to next. Before we get started, though, I just want to mention the Patreon. On the Patreon, I am 15 to 20 episodes ahead. The episodes are also uncut. They're not edited down like here on YouTube. If that is something that interests you, feel free to check it out. Link is in the description down below. With that said, let's get into episode 14 of season 1 of Gravity Falls. But none more bottomless than the bottomless pit, which, as you can okay. see here, is bottomless. I don't know about that. Question. Is it bottomless? <laughs> yes, it is bottomless. <laughs> Nothing is bottomless, though. So long, Mystery Shack suggestion cards. Goodbye, creepy love letters from little Gideon. <laughs> die, die! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Why are you throwing in your shoes, dude? What you What's... got there, Mabel? <laughs> it's just my personal box of mysterious secrets. Nothing worth wondering about. Well, now I'm gonna wonder about it. Do I really have to be the one to point out that a bottomless pit is, by definition, impossible? Thank you, Dipper. I agree. I'm assuming we're gonna fall in. <laughs> what even are they? Suggestion cards? Suggestions for what? Here we go. <laughs> and this freaking goat, what's the deal with a goat? I don't understand the goat. Well, settle in, guys. You're gonna keep falling. Gonna land on something eventually. Could be any second now. I mean, if there's an, a strong enough updraft, maybe you won't. Who wants to see some card tricks? Ta da! <laughs> it's very impressive. Oh, Mabel, I love how enthusiastic she is. Time Grunkle Stan got us all thrown into a bottomless pit where we spent the rest of our natural lives. Those aren't going to be very long because, I mean, you need to eat and drink. I'll tell you a story. A story I'd like to call voiceover. Okay. Ready? So, oh, we're doing vignettes. Like small, short things. Dan, ever kissed a pig before? I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> that means yes. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, sorry, it's just hard to focus on what you're saying with that squeaky puberty voice you got there. Saying my voice cracks? My voice doesn't crack. Dude, no offense, but a crack yeah, must have already made a techno remix out of it. Do oh. I really sound like that? Oh, here comes my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to listen to yourself. Hello there! Ah! I couldn't help but overhear your situation. Old man McGucket. <laughs> Part-time adventure. Why did you... No. Your robot almost killed me. Come yeah, here, it did. me into this dark, dangerous alley. The lake monster robot. <laughs> Episode two, I think. Turn tonic. On account of my horrifying voice! Uh, it's not horrifying, it's just kind of loud. And I think you're, the way you look is worse than the way you sound. You can't just drink that. Morning, <laughs> Come on, dude. Good morning, Dipper. Oh, man. I did it. Very smooth. Favorite Mabel. <laughs> Mabel, it's me. This <laughs> yeah. Understandable reaction. This is weird. Weird and bad. Mabel, this is... Yeah, the it is thing. It's very weird, at least. This is the President of the United States of America. I'm calling... Yeah, I can buy that. <laughs> what? Who is this? How you diddly doing, Zeus? Kill it! Oh, kill it with fire! Everyone, flee! <laughs> 
least before you sounded like a real person. Now you sound like some kind of weird commercial dude. I'll yeah, kind of like that. He'll like my new voice. You'll see. No, he won't. Uncle Stan. Huh? I know that voice anywhere. Oh, yeah? You're the guy who prank called me earlier. Oh, no. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All the rough people. <laughs> McGucket, your invention was a catastrophe. That's probably why I live in the dump. Indeed. <laughs> I gave you the wrong drinky majig. This one's for voiceover professional. Oh. Ah, I'm sure I can get a better voice in here soon. <laughs> Come sundown, you'd have reverted back to your ridiculous old voice. It was ridiculous. Wasn't it? No, it wasn't bad. This one should be permanent. <laughs> Don't just take mysterious potions. I guess I realized that even though my voice might not be perfect, it's still mine, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Not even Good. for whatever was in this new vial. Tell a story. Really? Okay. This story is called Zeus's Really Great Pinball Story. I'm excited. I'm excited for it, Zeus. Go, go, go. This is it, dudes. After four long years of trying, I might finally get the high score on Stan's creepy old pinball machine. Tilting the machine? I don't know, dudes. Isn't breaking the rules, like, against the rules? Next to the rules! <laughs> Bar tilt! <laughs> New high score! What's gonna happen now? It would be really funny if nothing happened, if this was the entire story. Guys, there's an awful lot of green lightning coming out of that game. Nah, oh, that's the normal amount of green lightning. <laughs> I don't think there should be any green lightning coming out of it. We're inside the game! Crazy, sweet mouth. Hushed exclamation of wonder. Yeah, look out for the ball. <laughs> hey, it's a skeleton cowboy guy. Did you zap me into your game to congratulate me on getting the high score? No, Ooh. to punish you for cheating. Well, take this! Ah! And this! Ow, it hurts! I wish this was working better! Please stop. <laughs> oh no, multi-ball. <laughs> this, uh, the voice actor they have doing now the cowboy voice, like, they have such good voice actors in this. I could sneak in there and turn off the game. Are Don't you need the game to get, get out of it, you know? My time has come. <laughs> Oh, Mabel. Something ain't right here. Distraction! Distraction! Maybe don't say distraction. <laughs> yes, let me see where this is going. Darn it, I wish I had a neck. <laughs> You're kind of static. Wow, that's strong. What's going on? Just press the switch already. Okay, so I was gonna do that. Yeah, but it will re delete all data. We could die in here. Fair point, but... What is life anyway, when compared to the immortality of a high score? Zeus, are you- <laughs> <laughs> Now this is some black magic nonsense. Goodbye, high score. <laughs> yes, but now when you turn it on, you, you can get all the high scores. Hey man, I'm sorry you had to lose your high score. That's okay, I got a new life accomplishment now. Saving you dudes. <laughs> no. Magic tonics? Zeus winning at something? Where do you come up with this stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> good story. It's called Grunkle Stan Wins the Football. It's time for Stan to show them how how you tell a story. You taught me and my gloating friends a lesson. Yeah. Here's your football winning trophy, oh. Mr. Pines. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Really dumb. What? That story was great. It's Mabel turn? Mabel's turn. True fake. Okay. No! No! Aww, they're hugging. They're not hugging, Mabel. <laughs> Everyone's seen a bicycle riding bear. No, no. I'm gonna teach this bear to drive. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a menace. What seems to be the problem, officers? <laughs> Now, they had been yeah, <laughs> what's, what could ever be the problem in this situation? Then where's your doctor's note? Why, it's right here inside my jacket. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Doctor Medicine. <laughs> to the hospital, honey pants. <laughs> Good lord. 
you know lying is always wrong? Mabel, when you get to be my age, you'll learn that sometimes you have to bend the truth for the greater good. Hey, has anyone- You're not bending the truth though, dude. So she's gonna make him tell the truth somehow. How do we stop him? Maybe you should check Dipper's journal, oink oink. Say oink one more time. Oink. <laughs> Buried beneath a tree stump in the deep forest are truth teeth, which force upon the wearer an inability yeah. to lie. Truth ache. Oh, he does have dentures. Ah, what's going on? What? Oh, apparently, it was also really easy to get to them. The dipper spaghetti plate. I ate it. Huh? That was strangely candid. Almost as if I'm <laughs> unable to lie. Why can I? <laughs> okay. This might be funny. It's great. Now he has to tell the truth. It's not great. His entire business hinges on lying. This might be good, though. We, we might get a clue. Go to the bathroom without washing my hands. Ew. Ew. Well, that was disturbing. Don't worry, Dipper. The truth is always a good thing. I mean, I'm inclined to agree with you on that, but... Look at this guy's abnormal and unattractive face! Oh. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh. Yeah. That's dangerous. Is this all there is? Is life just some kind of horrific joke without a punchline? That we're all just biding our time yeah, until the pretty much. I mean, it's not much a joke. It's not just kind of anything. So after further investigation, turns out there is no doctor medicine in- Hey, they followed up. That's impressive. Also, you're fat. Is all this true? No, no, it's not true. Right? <laughs> yeah, it is true. Stan is secretly a crime fiction writer. You're lying, Mabel. Come on. Have you lost weight? <laughs> Finally, someone noticed. Wow, an author. <laughs> Can you teach me how to read? What? That's not what authors do. Good night, officers. <sighs> hey. They still didn't get an explanation for Dr. Medicine. Tax fraud! Ah! Get him out! What's gotten into you kids? Oh. We have to find a place to get rid of these! Yes, where no one can get them. Oh. And I never saw that box full of magical teeth okay. again. Okay. Nice callback. So if we're living through that story right now, then how does it end? Guys, do you see that? Hey, it's the, the end. I don't know. We came right back out the top. That is really mysterious. No one will believe us. Maybe this is one story we should keep to ourselves. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> don't worry about it. He'll be back. But he's on his own now, though. So now he just has to wait. This is stupid. <laughs> it's a little stupid. Okay, that was Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 14. And that was fun. I enjoyed that. It's just... It's frustrating because you can so easily tell that there is so much mystery here. And I want to, like... I want to figure it out. I want more. And it just, like, I'm not... Not getting what I want so desperately. It was a good episode, though. <sighs> I think I enjoyed the last story the best. Yeah, with the truth-telling teeth. Which one is your favorite? If you don't mind me asking. As time goes on, like I'm liking Stan more and more in this show. He is like such a great immoral character. And he's he's also so mysterious and I want to know more. Maybe I will like him less when we find out more about him. But I don't know. At the moment, he is very interesting to me. Like, I understand that it's hard to do. It's hard to be very, very focused on a seasonal storyline because that leaves out a lot of people who are like, you can't join in and easily uh, understand what's going on uh, if you do it where it's very like what's the, I don't know what the word is. Like when you have a, 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 a long storyline 
where like you need basically need to have seen the previous episodes in order to know what's going on. I mean, for instance, I'm watching Supernatural at the same time as this, and for that, there's frequently like a previously on, you know, and but and they also have episodes that are very like standalone that function on their own, but I don't know, I don't know what the balance is. I feel like we have. I feel like TV has changed also, like lately, compared to like over the last 10 years, because I think this show came out like 2012, 2010, I don't know, somewhere around there, I guess. And with the rise of yeah, things like Netflix and HBO and like all the streaming platforms we have now, it's a lot bigger focus on longer stories that span over an entire season. So like that's what we are becoming accustomed to, and this is older. It's not like it's not old at all, but it's from a different era because this was on TV, and I mean TV still exists, but I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like TV is kind of falling out of favor, and everything is moving to a more streaming uh, mentality. You know, like you can still watch TV on TV but it's also available on streaming where you can watch like the entire season and like like Netflix does where they release an entire season in one go instead of one episode a week but for me i mean i haven't even had regular tv for uh, i don't know what it is it's probably like a decade at this point that i haven't had like regular tv channels i've just watched uh, like streaming media like youtube and netflix and so on and maybe that's a huge factor in this, that I want more seasonal things because like more longer, bigger stories, because I'm not watching it like one episode per week. I'm not waiting. I'm not like looking forward to it. I can just go to the next one. And like if it's just loose episodes that have nothing to do with each other, then maybe it gets like unsatisfying and you get like bored of it if you watch too many in a row. I don't know. I mean, it's still a great show. I'm still enjoying it massively. I just wish it was more seasonal. Maybe I'm. Maybe that's wrong, though. Anyways, I can't wait to see where we go next. But that is for a different day. For today, I am done, and I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, do take care of yourselves, and peace out.